Hello everyone, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I just wanted to show you part two of the silhouette wall working. Uh, if you didn't see part one of uh, how I'm going to do this, then it is the video prior. Uh, I'm going to show you, just like what's in the thumbnail, what we're trying to recreate. So I will move that here. I want to get this big silhouette on my wall with the windmill, with the house, and if you look like deep at the house, there's so much detail. There's so much detail in. Uh, now the way I've traced the silhouette, I, I'm not going to have as much detail as you can see here. Like you'll be able to see the belt and you'll be able to see the chainsaw blades and things. When I do the silhouette in full and paint it, this is all done in Sharpie, and I finished it on the wall. I'm really happy with the way that it is. Um, so let me just kind of like kick back with that in the background and then if anybody has questions, I know a lot of people want to say hello. Um, I'm in much brighter spirits which is a great thing. Uh, if you don't know how to do something like this on your wall because you're like, wow you're so talented you can draw that. No, I can't. I can print it out on my computer and then, like, because, you know, you see a picture that has a silhouette and you go, oh, that could be a really cool, like, wall drawing, right? Uh, because if you have, like, your overhead from school, like I do, but it's not from school, you can get them on eBay, overhead projectors, you just project that up on the wall. And it took me one Nirvana album. I listened to Nirvana Unplugged, and I got to the end of it. And I was almost done. Like, I literally had a little bit left of the trees left to do, and that was it. So, it took me... Well, you know what? This silhouette took longer to trace from the thing that I showed you, the printout. It took longer to trace from the printout to here. Now, I did that tracing three years ago, when I wanted to put this on the wall of my old house. Which is so funny. And right now it's on a painting that I'm using as like a door to the loft to keep the heat up here. And I look at it every day and I was like, you know what? I traced that. I'm back in the whole like Halloween mode, like the suck of the depression, but really trying to get out of it. And last time I drew this, I was trying to get out of the depression from when I lost the baby. And so uh, I just think it's so fitting because it never was on my wall. I never had to like paint over it and have a big excursion about it. So very excited that it's going to be right here. So let me just um, like I'm going to start painting but that's all done in Sharpie. Now let me show you the two types of Sharpie that I used. <clears throat> I used the biggest mofoing sharpie that you can find, the king size, and that's where you can see that big thick chainsaw blade up there and then the big thick line of his coat. Now, that stopped working in thickness and like, it just, you know, I washed the wall, I dried it so that it would be clean. You want to do that to get all the cobwebs off so it wouldn't muck up your sharpie, etc. But like, you just, and then you can do your artisticness with this later, like, you don't have to have the clouds be all like, like, chunky like silhouettes, you can make them like your own drawings. And then I just use like black paint for that. <clears throat> so, let me say hello to everybody who's here, now that I've said part two of what's going on, with what's going on. Really excited about that silhouette. Alright, so, hi, Uncle Badger, so good to see you, hello, Purple Sky. Kitty, it's amazing to see you. Um, and KTR, hello back again. Uh, when I'm in a good mood, I go on a lot. When I'm in bad mood or like having a hard time, I just, I go dark for a while. Don't worry about me, you guys. I'm doing well. Justin Townsend, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> then trace the shadow. Well, now at this point, I can decide whether I want to, you know, I don't have to silhouette this at this point because this whole thing is in its own texture, if you will. I wish I wouldn't have taped that on the wall before I did this video. I could show you what I mean, but I could make it one big black silhouette and then texture the house in that. 
which I probably will. That way Leatherface looks like he's like right at you. And by the way, I blew him up way bigger. The skies go up into the top, the third part of the color, and then his legs right here go all the way down to the floor. So he's a littler human than me, but it looks like he's far away. Really excited about it. I know that that seems crazy and wild, but again, like, that's my art. So, really glad to see everybody. Mr. Veterans here. Great to see you. I forgot uh, the new name of your channel. Anyway, that is part two. To, to get, and you know, it, it only took me an hour with one of these, and this is a um, fine point. Not the ultra fine point that you used to write your stuff with, but just the normal thick sharpie. The most common one probably is the fine point. If you're going to write, you don't want to use this. You want to use the ultra fine point, but we're not writing. We're just getting stuff on a wall for us to paint. Because this overhead projector takes loads and loads of power, and it hurts your eyes when you're up there and you pass by, and every time it's just like, you know... All of that, right? Obviously, I, I messed with the paper. But you remember these from school, right? Looking at your projects. Do, 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 do. So, that's one of my favorite artistic tools. I've always enjoyed using those. Um, another thing that I trace and I put on there is um, my dad is really into firearms. And so I've always enjoyed, since I watched this uh, Mud Honey video a long time ago, it's the I Like It Small official video. They have all these giant, like, drawn, hand-drawn revolvers on the wall. And I was like, I want some of those. I want to sell some of those. Uh, and I think I thought of this idea, like, six or seven years ago. And that's when I got the overhead. You know? My mom uses one for her metal art. Um, that's how she gets the shapes of things that she wants to recreate. So anyway, these use lots of power. You can tell by the hum and the warm and the heat. Uh, if you have a cat and you left this on all night, which <laughs> your cat would just sit on top of it and be like, poor kitty, oh, poor. So anyway, these are really good things to have is the king size to get your big thick marks of your main silhouettes, whatever you're gonna have completely blacked out. Okay, just like you can see that one human character is blacked out and then the rest is all drawn in. So there's that. Uh, I don't have too much of an audience lately. I know I'm coming on on weird times. Um, usually in the evenings rather than the mornings. My mornings have been kind of a little bit harder. But I just had the weekend with my daughter. That was really nice. And then her birthday is uh, coming up next week. So that will be really fun. And I'm trying to think of something really grand to do for her while I'm starting to like see some sunshine <clears throat> on the other side of this. Tracy, it's so good to see you. You think that this is cool? That's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that other people would. I mean, okay, here's the thing. Like, I guess my biggest question is, because my biggest question is going to be, Jennifer, there's your bed. And here's this picture, you know, which is obviously, it's not flowers and sunshine. And then over here, you have like, ooh, you know, leather face. Because <laughs> that's what he's doing in that silhouette. It's actually, it's funny because this scene of the movie happens in the morning, but on the front of the 1974 new release DVD case that I printed off of Google Images or whatever, has it as a silhouette as if it's happening at sunset. It doesn't happen at sunset. It happens in the morning when it's like super bright in Texas at like probably, you know, I don't know, 9 a.m. or something. So this is kind of, I don't know if the word cliche works because I don't even know what that word means. Thomas, maybe you could tell me the definition of cliche. Um, but it's, to, it doesn't, if you're a true movie person and you've been looking at this picture for three years thinking about drawing it on your wall and then all of a sudden uh, you say 
I'm gonna watch the movie just so I can like pause it right on that part and get a picture on my phone so I can like really see the real picture and I'm all like sundown happened what happened where did it where did it happen you know because we don't see Leatherface come out until uh, Franklin gets you know and that's in the dark and it's already sundown and they're like rolling him through trying to find the house so this is when he's chasing Sally, right, Sally, out in the morning, and she runs into the street. And so what I'm going to also do, since his feet come down to my bed, is I'm going to hopefully do a silhouette of Sally down over here. And listen, I might do, after I get the silhouette on the wall, a bunch of color around it. So yes, I'm still going to have my whole entire room be this, like, purple tone that we like but where this is because it doesn't make sense with the silhouette in the picture I might get some paints of like orange and yellows and you know bright colors to make this look cool or I might might do it completely literal to the picture of the movie you know what I mean so it'll be something that can like evolve something I can look forward to because when you have something to look forward to I learned this from Wentworth by the way it'll help get you through so, uh, you guys are definitely something for me to look forward to, and I love and appreciate all of your support, and uh, you being here with me, and sitting and listening to me ramble about my art piece that I'm so excited about, because um, I've not been moving for almost two weeks, you know, but I'm ready to just burst out of the shell, so... <clears throat> I love you guys. Kiss kiss ta. I will see you uh, after I've painted some. You know, maybe after I've painted this big silhouette, then I'll come back and show you guys a little bit more of what I'm doing. Um, but again, if you're going to do something like this, overhead projector, amazing tool, $100 on um, with free shipping to get one that's brand new from the 90s in the box. <laughs> and like, you know, extra bulbs and all that. Free shipping. And then um, just get your Sharpies and get creative and figure out what you want to have on your wall because it would be super fun. I'll see you guys soon. Have a beautiful evening and wish me luck.